Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from southern Montana, where we're roughly an hour and 30 minutes from Montana's largest city, Billings. And we basically called Montana Fish, Parks, and Wildlife and said, guys, we want to go to a place and catch trout that is no secret to anybody that we'll have no problem filming at. We won't upset anybody. You know, where should we go? And they said, no better place than Rock Creek. Oddly enough, we went to Rock Creek, went to True Value Hardware where they sell tackle. They told us, go to Rock Creek. There were a couple places where we ate lunch over the couple days we were there. And they said, are you guys going to fishing at Rock Creek? Obviously, Rock Creek is no secret to anybody around here. Now, we went to the upper section of Rock Creek. The lower section seems to be loaded with fly fishermen, loaded with guides, loaded with, you know, more low-key, slow-moving water. Now, the section we fished is the Rock Creek up that starts in the Bear Tooth Wilderness. Now, Rock Creek, if you look it up online, it says it's 55 miles long, and it empties into the Clark Fork of the Yellowstone River. We fished 10 to 15 miles above Red Lodge in a beautiful area that's covered with pines. It's a very dense forest with a high gradient. What I mean by that is it's not the easiest place to fish simply because you have to do a lot of bushwhacking. You do have a lot of clear, fast flowing water. Even in the fall, you might be watching this in the spring or in the summer. This was Labor Day weekend. There's still really good flows here. Now, the key is you're gonna have to find water that slows. By high gradient, it means it tumbles quickly. It means there's a lot of steeper areas where you have a lot of fast flowing water. You're gonna have to get outside from one of the hundreds of campsites in this area and walk up and downstream to find what most of the fish were to us was rainbows with some brook trout mixed in. Well, we did read there's cutthroat in this area and maybe even a few browns. We didn't see any of those. Now the key to fishing up here is light tackle, light line. That means if you're gonna use a hook, anything from size eight at the absolute largest on a single salmon egg hook, all the way up to size 16, we would recommend 10 or 12 would be ideal. Your line, two or four pound test, nothing more. You're not gonna catch a 10 pound trout here. They're all gonna be beautiful pan sized fish like these. A lot of people catch them, they put them on the skillet, they eat them for dinner while they're camping. Now, small split shots and we used a float, reason being, if we didn't use a float, you were getting hung up instantly. Using a float allows you to do what we did today. Use gold label, green label, or pink shrimp Potsky salmon eggs and get a natural drift on those without getting snagged every time. Now you'll also notice this is beautiful country right here. You're right off what we talked about, Beartooth Highway. And you can see absolute stunning wilderness here. There'll be locals around and there'll be a ton of tourists, whether they're all just passing by in a car as they go up the Bear Tooth or they're camping in this area, everybody's here to enjoy the beautiful wilderness and a lot of people are here to go trout fishing. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.